Hey, this is Adam Torres, and I'm here to tell you that it has never been easier to start your very own podcast. At Mission Matters, our goal is to amplify stories that matter. That means we want to help you start your podcast because your story matters. We can do this in three different ways. One, join our podcast school and take a free or paid course. Two, visit our resources page where we've already figured out what you need, such as where to host your podcast. Or three, heck, we can even do everything for you through our podcast agency, including editing for cheaper than you can do in-house. Oh, and no contracts, services month to month. Get started by heading over to missionmatters.com and click on Start a Podcast. All right, now let's get into the show. Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Entertainment Podcast, your source for all things entertainment. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres to keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Oliver Day on the line. He's creator and host over at Awaken the Awesomeness. Oliver, welcome to the show. Thanks so much for having me on, Adam. Man, this, this kind of energy just like jazzes me, just like, oh, so fired up. Thank you so much for having me on. It's an honor and a thrill. Oh, man, I'm excited to get into the Awaken the Awesomeness podcast um, and, and, and what you're doing over there. But before we get into your podcast, um, I want to go a little bit further in your background. So how did you get started really on this journey as a creator? It's basically, you know, when it's always when you have too much time on your hands. So basically, I had lost my job and we had a new baby, bought a new house with all the stress going on. Basically, me, myself and nothing to do aside from take care of the baby. You realize that having worked a corporate gig for a really long time and my stress levels were really high and, you know, self-doubt and all that good stuff. Basically, like, you know, was negative internal dialogue and realized I could actually do two things. I could just feel sorry about myself or try to just like take that energy and try to use it productively because uh, basically I was originally from Haiti. So we know a thing or two about overcoming obstacles. So you know what? Let's try to build from this, take the best lessons that we can, and you know what? Let's have a different outlook on life and let's try to make it happen. And, you know, one step towards the other and, you know, just try to take care of ourselves, take care of our mental health and basically, you know what? Let's run with it. And, you know, we just had the creative bug and, you know, podcasting is what happened. Man, that's awesome. I love this story. And uh, I love I love how you chose to, you know, take that energy and to use it for positive and to help people. So let's uh, I think it's a great transition. So let's dive into into the content. So um, for those of you that have been listening to me for a long time, you know, I love helping to support other podcasters and their work. It's not easy to do this stuff. Um, and so I definitely want you to go and check out Oliver's podcast, uh, Awaken the Awesomeness. Um, but Oliver, just to get us kicked off. So tell us a little bit more about the inspiration behind the content. The content basically came from the fact that I can only put it in one single sentence. You don't have to be a superstar to be a superstar because we spend so much time, you know, comparing ourselves and looking into other people's highlights and just comparing ourselves to the next guy. When all we have to do is understand that, you know what, there are people just like you, just like me, everyday people who are doing just a little bit you know, into their own self, you know, just, you know, tapping into their own inner awesome. That's why I like to call it. We all have it within us to do that one little thing that we were put on earth to make happen. I don't, I know it's very woo woo, but I believe that we all have our own little thing that we're good at and that we can actually dive into and feel good about. So whether it's writing a book, losing weight, taking care of kids, being a, being a podcaster, launching a million dollar business, you have it within you. And I basically thought that, you know what, what better way to actually connect with people And people I'm curious about, people near and far, and whether here in Canada, the United States, all over the world, and, you know, every single one of these people always has that common thread of wanting to do better. Everybody understands love. Everybody understands fear. Everybody understands challenges. Everybody understands setbacks. And you know what? We're all in this together. And that was my one motivation, to connect with people, bring them to the forefront, and help them share the story. Tell us a little bit more about the uh, about the the show, the format, like what listeners mm-hmm. can expect. Because I want you to, I want I want them to go check this out. 
The listeners can expect uh, it's totally unbiased. Uh, the way I like to tell everyone is just I'm just a normal guy. I'm not a journalist. I'm not this communication like mogul whatsoever. I'm just a guy who gets curious. So I really come with a lot of naivete. I'm very naive in regards to the questions I ask and these people who are knowledgeable in their own way, whether it's real estate brokers, whether it's uh, writers, whether it's single mothers, whether it's people who've lost weight, people who've overcome addiction, people who've, you know, who run their own businesses, people who've suffered setbacks and lost businesses and overcame that people who are just just starting their own podcast i've had so many a wide array of guests and it's always so so heartwarming to see that at the core we're all motivated by that same energy you know everybody wants to do better everybody wants to do good everybody wants to know that we can actually bring just a little bit more to someone else we can if we can change the change the mindset of just one person it's a day well spent so basically, these conversations are totally impromptu, sitting down 30 to 45 minutes uh, with these guests and basically just sharing their story and, you know, helping them, helping us understand, you know, the world from their vantage point. Man, that's awesome. And uh, so I'm going to ask you a question right now, and it's a loaded question, and I, it's a terrible question to ask the podcaster, but I ask it anyway because I want people to understand, to get a flavor for the content. So what's mm -hmm. one of your favorite episodes? Can you say, and I know it's like saying, oh, well, you're going to tell me, like, choose wow. my kids or my this or my that. I know. <laughs> it's a loaded I told question. You, when I told you that, I told you, but I, I, but I teed it up as a horrible question. So oh, it be wow. Okay. It's like um, the worst you could ever ask a podcaster in the wow. world. Like, hey, this is my podcast. Uh, Sorry. So <laughs> Many, I'm going to help you promote, uh, so but I know, many. I get it. So, so give us, uh, so just pick wow. one, all right, <laughs> one oh, moment. Man, so many, because, you know, when you've done 130 plus, wow. Um, wow I've done over wow, 3,000, wow, wow. and I hope nobody ever it, asked me. So. It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> give but us one. Definitely one that really, one that really hit me uh, was having spoken to um, a fellow influencer here in, uh, here in Montreal. His name is Thierry Landau. And uh, he's uh, basically, he was a champion real estate broker. He's a really big influencer. Um, and the day I connected with him, again, you know, you know those people who are like so busy and you never think, why in the hell would they come on my podcast? But when he replied, mm -hmm. he was so earnest and so true and so generous of his time. But one thing he said is something that still carried me to this day. And he's like, what are you willing to suffer for? And the way you ask that, it's not as a taboo or as a condemnation or as pain, but we understand that anything that is worth having is going to require a lot out of you. And are you willing to pay the price of success? Are you willing to pay the price of what you want? Are you willing to pay the price of your dreams? What are you willing to suffer for? Are you willing to suffer to make your kids, you know, to, to, to raise your kids? Are you, because again, we want to have kids, but do you understand kids are a huge responsibility, a lifetime responsibility? Same thing for losing weight. Are you willing to show up at the gym every single day? You know, what are you willing to suffer for? It's one of those nuggets that that's dropped on you, but you never understand the weight until you carry it with you a couple of days later. You're like, wow. I still think about that to this day. That was about three years ago, but I still think about it every other day. What are you willing to suffer for? It's one of the many nuggets that you learn. We're all, we can always have something to learn from someone else if, we're willing, if you're, we're willing to listen. I'm sorry. Wow, you picked a nugget out from three years ago. Did you just say that? Yeah. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> I'm impressed. That is amazing. I love this. And uh and I mean it just shows the uh it just shows the like integrity you put behind your show and your work when you pull something out like that. Um it just shows that you uh I mean you're really living and walking this um the in the shoes of as a creator in your in your show and, and honing in your craft. And I'm sure Because the thing is I'm not uh I tell everybody, I'm not willing to collect guests. That's what I'm, I'm not there for. I can share the story, and these people are sharing their time, and time is the one resource, most valuable resource that we have, and the one resource we can't get back. So when these people allow me 30 to 40 minutes, 45 minutes of their time, I take that very seriously. So as long as I learn from them, and that's something that I can you know, just spread out into the universe, I believe it's a job well done, and I take that very seriously. Fantastic. So, um, so tell me, uh, and there's a lot of people listening also that they want to possibly start their own podcast or go down this mm -hmm. podcast road. What what kind of things have you either personally or professionally um, benefited from just in general from going down this podcasting journey? Because I'm biased. I'll tell everybody that right now. I'm biased. I help people set up podcasting. It's my business, right? And I'm a podcaster. Mm -hmm. I love it. I live and breathe this stuff. So I'm biased. Sure. Okay, take me out of the equation. We don't know each other. This is our first time talking on the interview. What what have you? How have you benefited? 
benefited it's in so many ways first of all it teaches you you have no excuse not to get started right now you don't need the perfect mic you don't need the perfect setup you don't need the multi-million dollar studio i started this podcast on my phone people have always want the right headphones they want the right mic they want the right setup when you can think like listen you need very little to get started so it plays into a lot of that that uh, fear of getting started, that fear of flight that a lot of people get just, just locked down into with their knees in cement that they won't move. You need to make the jump. You need to understand that all you need to do is decide and you will make it happen. So choose to make it happen. Start. This is day one. You don't need the right gear because your podcast will evolve, as will you. I have definitely become a lot more assertive. I have become a lot more daring. I have become a lot more authoritative in regards to reaching out to even bigger and greater guests because I've said this before. Why would this person be on my podcast? But I never stop at that. You know what? Might as well because, again, in this game called life, you can't win if you don't play. So might as well launch a lead. Make that call. Send the email. Check out the DM. Like, might as well. If the person says no, they say no. But try yourself. And, again, listen to other podcasts. L hear how you your different vocal tics. You know, learn from, from other podcasters and connect. Podcasting is a huge community. There's an explosion of podcasting right now. So there's a lot of people you can learn from, for, learn from. And definitely this will help you evolve and make the best podcast that you can. Make the podcast about you, and that's the best thing that you've got going for you. Man, that's exciting. I love it. I'm a big fan of what you're doing, the heart behind it. Um, so that being said, if somebody is listening to this and they want to connect with your brand and listen to the podcast or connect with you overall and your team, I mean, what's the best way for them to do that? Best way to reach me right now, I am very active on Instagram. So it's very simple. ATA, as in Awaken the Awesome, ATA podcast, all one word, on Instagram. Or you can go directly to the website at awakentheawesome.ca. But I'm a lot more active on Instagram. So you shoot me a DM. I always reply. It's really me. It's not my assistant whatsoever. It's always me. I'm very active there. Perfect. Well, hey, really appreciate you coming on the show today and share more about your background and all the great work you're doing. To my audience, definitely go check out that podcast. Definitely worth your time. Um, and to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, uh, leave me a review on the Apple iTunes store. And if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, uh, Mission Matters Entertainment, definitely give us a subscribe there, but also leave us some comments on the video. Love to know what kind of projects and things that you're working on. And uh, the VA, thank you again for coming on the show. Thank you so much for your time, Adam. To everyone, have a terrific day. Stay safe out there and blessings to all.